it's um, April 2020 and um, these uploads that I'm sharing, even though repetitive, just goes to show how um, little regard is being shown to the uh, vendetta of hate crime that's occurring and the victimization and violations that are also occurring. Um, in this upload, I just want to share um, a few documents of complaint with the Medical Council, um, with GSOC, um, and one or two other agencies that I'm not going to show online in these uploads, but that are of relevance for women's rights and children's rights. As I've mentioned, since giving birth in 2015, there's been a lot of unlawfulness and illegalities um, regarding the matters that have been caused for me in Tralee County, Kerry, Ireland. Um, I find it very worrying that authorities have not provided the services um, and supports that victims are entitled to with regards to protection orders and whistleblower protection orders. Um, I find it very worrying that, as I've mentioned, the culprits of these kind of offences are given uh, breathing space, as they might say, to perpetrate retaliatory offences. So um, this issue of hate crime and victimisation and violations that I'm experiencing simply because of my property rights um, of two farm holdings and the subsequent offences that have been caused as a consequence um, of those that have been intentionally uh, destroying my family and my career and my health and my livelihood. Um, I'm just wondering why are the politicians and the ombudsman that I have just showed the complaints procedure forms and documents that I've sent these to, why have they not acknowledged the uh, damages done to um, a law-abiding citizen of the European Union? And I'm also very curious to know um, how in a democracy um, adultery, desertion, abandonment and um, complete lack of regard and respect for um, humanity is being tolerated, um, especially with the incident of spiritual violence that I was subjected to um, that affected my bodily um, integrity, my entire body was absolutely desecrated in a violent spiritual assault and the subsequent um, harm has led to um, exploitation of the light gifts and blessings that were damaged from my body. Um, so as a light worker, as a law abiding citizen, as an educator, um, as a mother in particular with regards to the issues that are being denied and ignored. Um, I'm wondering the current upload that I'm sharing for the interest of the United Nations, could you kindly acknowledge the serious offences uh, being perpetrated against Emer Griffin McElligot here speaking in April 2020 from Tralee County, Kerry, Ireland. Um, the inviability of my dwellings that's occurred on several occasions and people um, interfering with my personal information and altering and falsifying information and as a victim of these individuals being in close proximity to me and causing further offences, retaliatory offences, simply due to my property rights and the other matters concerning children's rights and women's rights and human rights. I'm wondering um, what is obstructing the UN from protecting a victim of desertion and uh, victimization and defamation. Um, these uploads are repetitive, but these issues are ongoing due to the malicious and maligned mentality of the individuals that are guilty of sexual assault and revenge porn from over a decade ago as well. So these issues are very serious when they endanger women's rights and those people playing ball and playing foul and profiteering and exploiting um, a situation from an innocent person suffering and loss and grief due to their offences and inconsiderate um, handling of um, my good work 
and efforts and study and research and positive contributions as I keep reiterating to society. I'm just wondering um, what are the politicians in Doyle Aaron and the UN agencies prepared to do to protect and safeguard women such as myself that have been robbed in day broad daylight um, of my career, my opportunities, my wealth and my health and my family life and my property rights as well. As I've said, as a HAPS tenant um, that has been refused um, or denied and disrespected as a wife, deserted wife, um, it's a dangerous situation for culprits of these offences to be in any way close to their target and causing further retaliatory offences and jeopardising um, the safety of individuals that are living peacefully according to civic society. So um, this situation is ongoing. It's discomforting. It's disrespectful. It's inconsiderate. It's, um, it's absolutely disgraceful. And um, for the UN agencies that have been obstructed from providing the supports to safeguard my human rights and children's rights, um, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't mind contacting me directly, please. I'm aware that my postal correspondence has been obstructed from being uh, delivered. And I'm also aware that my uh, phone calls have been also obstructed. So um, this entire situation is quite dangerous simply because of my property rights and issues that have been caused for me by guilty culprits. So um, the UN. United Nations that I've been contacting since these offences have been perpetrated. Um, this is an urgent plea from Tralee County, Kerry, Ireland, due to the ill intentions and disregard of people that have stolen so much from me after all my hard work and um, after all my good efforts in my community and my country. Um, so, if the UN wouldn't mind considering. Um, my application that I've submitted to you, um, I'd appreciate it because to be surrounded by other people's mental illness is quite disturbing and um, I'm quite concerned about the safety and livelihood of women and children in society these days when these offences that I'm experiencing are being perpetrated and ignored.